Hey guys, I'm just going to go through quickly how you can install these presets. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm in a tin can. I don't have a microphone, so bear with me. Um, okay, so what you need to do is, you, first of all, you need to have Lightroom version 7.3 or later. The reason being is um, Lightroom now has XMP files for presets instead of the old um, LR template files. So once you've got it open, you need to come over to the develop module and then you need to come over here to presets and you'll see this little plus sign here and you just click import presets and then you should have downloaded your presets from me and then copy them over to a safe place. So like um, documents or your desktop or maybe you have them on an external hard drive. Mine are on the desktop right now just so I can easily show you. And you will just select all of your presets in there, all of the files, and then click import. Now, what they should do is just pop up over here. If they don't, you just need to restart Lightroom. If for some reason all of this doesn't work, there is an alternative way around. So what you would do is go to Lightroom over here at the top, very top left next to the Apple, if you're on an Apple. Um, and then you would go to preferences. And then you want to make sure the store presets with this catalog is not ticked. You'll come over to show Lightroom develop presets, settings, and then what you would do is just copy and paste your new folder into there. So I'm just going to do that over here. Copy and paste. Ta-da! That should be in there for your presets and you should be golden. I'm just going to exit out of that, exit out of that. Again, if that doesn't work, you need to be um, restarting your Lightroom. So I'll, while we're here, I'll quickly talk you through what the presets are doing. Um, so you've got Golden Days 1, which is pretty clean and bright. Golden Days 2, which is more muted tones. Golden Days 3 is super creamy. Golden Days 4, which is probably my favourite. Um, it's got a lot of pink undertones. And then you've got Golden Days 5, which is more of a bluish sky. Golden Days Black and White. And then Golden Days Black and White 2, which is more of a super grainy vintage vibe. And Golden Days Full Sun. Um, while this isn't Full Sun that I'm shooting in here, it has been so helpful in the Full Sun shoots I've been trying to do. Um, so we don't have to be afraid of Full Sun anymore. It's a game changer. Then you've got lens correction. Basically, you can see here you've got your vignette around, and this works for any of them. There's a few little tools that I've added in here. So you go over here and you can click lens correction. It will just flatten it out, and um, it will get rid of that vignette. Um, and then you've got reset, of course. So if you want to reset and try again. And then warm up, which is probably the most important tool. So I'm going to show you how this works. Um, what I've noticed is that a lot of people when I was editing their photos for these presets shoot quite cool. And this is sort of what the preset would look like if you were to apply it and you're a cool shooter. Now I'm a very warm shooter. So if you want the photos to sort of look a bit more similar to how they look on the preset website or on Instagram or things like that, then this little tool here to warm up will help you loads. So it does warm it up to about 7,500. You can cool it back down a bit. You can warm it right up. You can do whatever pleases your aesthetic, but it does just bring you back to sort of like where the preset would look if I was to apply it. Um, and I think that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that helps you guys out with the installation process. It should be pretty straightforward if you've got the latest version of Lightroom. And um, yeah, enjoy using these. Bye.